Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. So today we will be solving linear equalities uh, problems by the MPE. Okay, and our example here would be different from the first um, means of solving linear equality by APE. Okay, our example would be dealing mostly with multiplication. Okay, so anyways, let's start. Um, by definition, let's have first our MPE. MP is just simply known as the multiplication, multiplication, addition, multiplica multiplication property of equality. So just like uh, in our M um, APE, it's just simply multiplying on both sides. So say I have x um, is equals to 2, okay? And MPE means that if I will multiply the first um, term with 2 then therefore i would also multiply the second um i mean the second half of the equation by 2 so whatever you will do on the left hand side you will also do on the right hand side okay both lang po yon times 2 here then of of course is the other side times 2 okay so say i have 2x um is equals to um 4 and i multiply 2x by 3 then therefore i will also multiply this 4 by 3 Whatever you do on the left hand side, please always do also on the right hand side. And that would be in terms of multiplication. Remember, uh, multiplication will be expressed as a period or a dot. Okay? And this is how we will um, solve linear equality by MPE. Whatever we multiply on the left hand side, we multiply on the right hand side. And before we do this, let's, uh, let's, because in the previous video, we did not discuss the additive inverse agad. In this case, we will mul discuss multiplicative inverse again. Multiplicative inverse. And what is multiplicative inverse? Multiplicative inverse will just simply state that um, what you will find a number okay, that when you multiply to your original number, you will get an answer of a 1. So, for example, um, I have 2. What do I multiply to 2 for me to get 1? And that would be the inverse of 2. And the inverse of 2 would just simply be the reciprocal of 2. And the reciprocal of 2 is equals to 1 half. Reciprocal. Reciprocal. Okay, so uh, meaning I will multiply by 1 half. Because 2 times 1 half is equals to 1. Okay, and that is the inverse of a number. The reciprocal of a number. Okay, this would be for multiplication. It's, again, it's different from 2 plus, ne two times ne 2 plus negative 2. The answer is 0. Okay? This is different. In our case, in the multiplicative inverse, we need to get an answer of 1. Say I have 5 over 2. What do I multiply to 5 over 2 to get 1? Inverse would be the reciprocal of this number. And the reciprocal of 5 halves would be simply the reverse of that. Babalik ta rin lang. The answer here would simply be 1 is equals to 1. And lastly, we have another one. Say we have 6. You multiply 6 by 1 over 6 to get 1. Okay? That would be the multiplicative inverse. And now, what do we do? Uh, how do we apply that on our given? So, let's have our example first. Say we have, let me get from our resource. Uh, say we have 5x is equals to negative 30. Okay, what should be the value of our x? So this is where our rule starts again. Rule number one is I multiply both sides with the multiplicative inverse of the number this the number number not numbers the number the number beside the unknown. Ano ba yung unknown natin? Our unknown is of course x. So what is the number beside x? It's 5. And let me ask you guys, what is the inverse of 5? The inverse of 5 is 1 fifth. So therefore, I multiply 1 fifth on both sides. Okay, 1 fifth. And this would be cancelled out, the number part. So what would be left is x. And then you ask yourself, what is negative 30 times 1 fifth? Do I use calculator for this one? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 
So in any case, uh, if you're not familiar with multiplying fraction, it goes like this. Negative 30 times 1 fifth is just like multiplying this one. Taas sa taas, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, negative 30 times 1 is negative 30, 1 times 5 is equal to 5, and 30, negative 30 divided by 5, the answer is negative 6. So it will leave us with x is equals to negative 6. And this would be your solution. And let's go back. What is our equation again? Sorry, uh, I think we did not finish with the rule. So the next rule would be, of course, um, uh, what's the next rule? Uh, we have multiplied, and then we just with the inverse, then we um, cancel. Yes, cancel the number and cancel the number and the inverse. And then next one, evaluate the right right hand side and lastly we check number four is always checking so we have checking now okay so our equation i yeah our equation is 5x is equal to negative 30 and our solution is negative 6 so if we substitute x negative 6 with all the x's here this would be 5 times negative 6 is equal to negative 30 and 5 times negative 6 is definitely negative 30. If this is correct, then therefore, definitely, this is also correct. We have found the solution. Sagot sa ating mga katanungan. At ano yung tanong? This is the solution and this is the equation. Okay? Solution and equation, they go in a pair kasi the solution is the answer to our question. Which is, of, of course, our equation. Okay? So, let's have another example. Say, we have negative 4 is equals to 18. So again, what is our number that we should remove this negative 4? Because again, remember, if you're solving for the unknown, say it with me, solving for the unknown, leave it alone. So we have negative 4. The inverse of negative 4 is just simply negative 1 4. Take note, the inverse will not change the sign. The inverse will only change the position of your denominator and numerator. It's like this one. Ayan. Okay? So we will have negative 4y times negative 1 fourth is equals to 18. Cancel them out. Okay? Nothing will be left. So we have times negative 1 fourth here. And 18 times negative 1 fourth will give you 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Huh? I don't think it's divisible though. So, the, we will have um, 18 divided by 2, the answer is 9. And this would be divided by 2, the answer is 2. So, okay, so yeah. Let's solve this one on a separate side. 18 times negative 1 fourth will give us 18 times negative 1 fourth will give us this. Okay, negative 18 times 1 is 18 and 1 times 4 is 4. So, negative 18 over 4. This is a fraction, simplest form, divide by 2, 9, divide by 2, 2. Therefore, we have negative 9 over 2. You have negative 9 over 2. And this, my friends, is the solution to your given. This is the solution. This is your equation. So, let's check. Because checking is an important part for your given to see whether your answer is correct or not. Why why do we have x? y is equal to negative 9 over 2. And th uh, then we will have substitution. Negative 4 times negative 9 over 2 is equal to 18. Guys, when we multiply negative times negative, may it be fraction or not, if there are just 2, the answer would definitely be positive. Okay? So, negative 4 times negative 9 over 2, negative 4 over 1 times negative 9 over 2. Negative 4 times negative 9, the answer would be negative, uh, positive 36 over 1 times 2 is 2. And 36 divided by 2, the answer is 18. 18 is equal to 18? Yes, 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 yes. Therefore, this is correct. And that is our solution. That would be it. Just simply um, 
just simply transposition okay just a simple transposition let's have another example and let's have our last example um i i added it on another layer okay sige um say we have a fraction naman say we have a fraction okay say we have um negative oh, no, no, no. say we have one sixth one sixth x is equals to negative four again we take the inverse of that number that is beside x so the inverse of 1 over 6 is equals to 6 that's it kasi 6 1 over 6 equals to 6 over 1 or just simply 6 so we multiply that number we multiply that number i am in that left side by 6 and we multiply this side by 6 Cancel, cancel, kasi again, that's the rule. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 20. Oh, am, I, am I correct? This is 20. Okay, it's negative 24. Checking, checking, checking. 1, 6, x is equal to negative 4. Our x is simply x is equal to negative 24. Substitution po, guys. 1, 6 times negative 24 is equal to negative 4. This is just simply saying that I am dividing this given by 6. Negative 24 divided by 6 is negative 4. Correct. Therefore, this is also correct. Okay? And that would be it regarding MPE. I don't think I will be teaching you transposition just yet. Why? Kasi um, transposition is an improper way of solving um equations. Okay? Improper way. And I do not suggest that. Mas okay na maganda yung background nyo on MPE and APE. Okay? So, anyways, that would be it. If you would have any other questions regarding our discussion for today, you can refer to the video or chat me in our group. That would be it. Um, thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you po.